Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about Balaj Oki versus Chris Duncan. Balaj Oki 9-1, pretty decent win streak right here. Minus 190 favorite, 28 years old, 5'10 with a 73 inch reach versus Chris Duncan. The much more veteran in this matchup, even though they're together fights, uh, combined fights, is pretty damn close. So this is uh, Duncan's 14th fight. This is Oki's uh, 11th professional fight. So, again, 11-2, 4-1 his last five fights. Was finished by Manuel Torres, plus 160 underdog at 31 years old, 5'10", with a 71 and a half inch reach. One and a half inch reach advantage for Balaj Oki, the Zulu warrior. So, again, the interesting thing for me in this matchup is six finishes. Let me make sure, yeah, six finishes right here for Oki. He has four first round finishes. Does have a couple second and third, or you know, one for the second, one for the third finish. Um, so he fought Timmy Kuwamba in his last fight, won a split decision. There's an argument that Timmy Kuwamba won that fight. He actually looked better pro as the fight went on, especially in that third round. Again, there's an argument for it for sure. Fighting a guy like Chris Duncan is interesting because, again, you have a guy in Chris Duncan who has eight finishes himself. His two losses are by finish, one of the contending series, one now in the UFC by Torres. The other one was by Val uh Valishlav Borachev, Slava Claus, you already know, monster, incredible, I love you. Um, but I thought Omar Morales probably won that fight. Omar Morales looked so good early in that fight. He looked so good, it was wild. And then he was getting rocked by Charlie Campbell, and then Campbell exposed himself and got finished. So again, fighting Balajoki. I don't really trust Chris Duncan's chin. I will be honest, you know. I, I don't trust his chin. I think he gets hit a little bit too much. I think he gets, he gets hurt. I mean, like I said, Omar Morales hurt him. Yeah, now didn't touch him. I think he broke his arm in that fight as well. But Campbell hurt him. Obviously, obviously Slava Claus hurt him. Um, Omar hurt him. Slava Claus hurt him. Um, Charlie Campbell hurt him. Torres hurt him. So early is where Oki, Oblige Oki can win this fight. If, if it gets past two and a half minutes of that second round, I think we're really going to start seeing Chris Duncan starting to turn it up a little bit and turn this fight into his favor. But, um, I, again, betting-wise, I would bet Oki, uh, Balaj Oki, the Zulu Warrior by finish under two and a half rounds. But picking-wise, I like Chris Duncan probably by decision. But as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know you're picking. Let's talk about it. Put your predictions down there in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Help out the channel so, so much. And as always, peace.